Hey folks, Sean McCormick here. And what we're looking at basically is the whole concept of doing the time lapses. Just having a quick look at the grid, you can see that I've got loads of almost identical images. They're basically taken every five seconds. Jump down to the bottom, and you can see that it's changed by here. Now, the original one I had just thrown out under my uh, apartment door, the balcony above us in the corner, so I've cropped to remove it out. And I've also cropped them to be uh, 16 by 9 crops, just so that they're actually the right size for export for HD. So you're going to slideshow, and we're in slideshow now. And you can see that over here I've selected 24 frames per second time lapse. Now I am working on other ones, so they're kind of just sitting there at the moment. Uh, I haven't created video export to go with them just yet. Now, one thing I will point out very quickly before we go and do anything is that there is no need to try and play the slideshow. Um, because it, Lightroom won't be able to keep up with it because it's trying to produce full size files at, at a rate of 24 a second and to be honest that is just that is a lot especially at full screen size which is bigger than HD size now I'm looking here and I have down in the bottom corner a very cool feature that's here you can see the duration so we can see a slide one of 516 and it's 23 seconds long this is useful for if you're making music or picking music that you can pick something that corresponds to it now I happen to have uh, created a file for this. I was just messing around in Reason, created a very, very basic file for it. It can be done in GarageBand, and there's numerous programs on the PC as well. So I'm going to come down here to Music, Reason, Choose. So there's my file, which is 22 seconds long, so it's just slightly short, but that's okay. So now I'm literally going to go Export Video. I'm going to choose... Uh, 720p TL, which is my uh, one, and I'm going to go to movies, time lapse from storing my time lapses, and I'm going to call this LR1. I go export. So we can just see up here that the render is going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to you when the render is done and show you the file. Just coming towards the end of the export, and it's almost finished. encoding and task completed okay so there's the frames done so let's have a look at that and I'm just going to go into finder and I have this open in the background so our file is called LR1 so I'm just going to open LR1 So you can see that it's exported quite fine with music playing as well. So I'm just going to mention the uh, the presets and templates that are used to do this are available on Lightroom News. But I'm just going to do a quick explanation of where they actually go when you download them. There's a zip file with a video presets template and with a slideshow template. Or a video preset rather and a slideshow template. And where you put them is you go to Lightroom, Preferences. Now on PC, the preferences actually appear at the bottom of the edit menu, but on Mac it's in the Lightroom menu. So I click on preferences, and we're going to click over here from general to presets, and then here you choose the show Lightroom presets folder. This will open it, and we can see that we've got a bunch of different uh, things in it. These are basically all the Lightroom templates and presets you have inside Lightroom and a few additional ones that I just have for storage, like extra galleries. But you have the slideshow templates. So we click on slideshow templates and inside the user templates you can see that I've already dropped in the file here. It's SS24 FPS time lapse. So the SS is for slideshow to let you know that it's slideshow. And then coming down here to video presets. Now this folder may not be there, you may have created, and then you go user presets, and you go video, 24 frames per second, I'm just going to stretch that for the name, 720p time lapse, so that's the video preset. And like I say, they're available on lightroomnews.com, lightroom-news.com to be precise. Thanks for watching.